Well, good morning, A Lantern fans. Charles and Lori. This is the two year anniversary of us owning our A Liner LXE 2019 model. So we thought we'd take the opportunity and share 30 plus tips and enhancements that we've made on our A Liner to help make your camping experience better. So it's a rainy day here. We're at Cunningham Falls in Maryland. So I'm just outside our clam quick set. That's one of the first things I want to recommend. Very, very nice. Very easy to put up. People have noticed when you figure out you can buy the brown or the green. The difference is the brown has this little rain strip on it. You can also buy them with these optional, easily removable and put up windshields and rain shields if you want. Inside, since we can't set up, since it's been wet, zero gravity chairs. Love zero gravity chairs. Different manufacturers make them, but they're fabulous. One thing that we found is very, very handy. This is a fire bowl, and it's by Outland. Uh, a lot of YouTube bloggers have reviewed them, and we really, really like it. One thing you can buy is you can buy this cover. It goes over your propane tank. That's under that right now, the standard barbecue tank. I happen to have an extra gauge that I use, which is found very handy in terms of how much propane is left. Let's skip off of that. So I want to do a shout out to Beckley's Camping Center in Thurmont, Maryland. That's where we bought it. They treated us very, very well. It was almost as if we were buying a $200,000 Class A instead of a $20,000 A-liner. Very good customer service. Really appreciate it. So, aliens come with a rail on the outside for those that have removable uh, propane stoves. Ours is built inside. So, bought this. Camco has it. It's removable. Very, very useful for when you're pulling things out of your storage area. A uh, little white thing there. Bought some lights last time to put those up, little decorative lights. But this is a very, very sturdy, works, puts my uh, toolbox on, anything else I'm working on while I'm out here, really love it. Just comes right off and just take it with you and put it right back on. So it's not hooked up right now because obviously we're parked. But one thing, because it connects right there, is we do use a stabilizer bar. And I want to tell you, it makes all the difference in the world in towing. We initially got the A-liner, we towed it without it. We finally bought a rig and we bought it, uh, a hitch that allowed it to put it on and it makes a huge difference even with a small A-liner. We drive with a Ford F-150, but it still is a great way to, uh, I just highly recommend it. And the reason being is if you get over bumps, uh, especially over the bridges, when we're in Maryland and we're driving, uh, a lot of the roads over the bridges are very, very bumpy, so it really it makes driving and towing so much easier. This is an example of our, our hitch that we bought that where you can, uh, the stabilizer will hook up on that little ball there and the other side connects onto your trailer right there. So A-liners come with just this outlet drain pipe that just comes down and just comes out. So with the right attachments, you can buy a 15 gallon gray tank. We use it just for sink water, uh, extra water from that if you use the inside shower. So for the black tank, we use, uh, we have a Thetford cassette toilet. What's very nice about this is this comes right out. It's this holds about five gallons. Looks like a carry-on luggage. It's got wheels on the back. Um, very easy. You can dump it into a toilet at a rest station. You can wait till you get home. Uh, I've been where the showers are. Uh, very easy to manage. That top one right there is where you fill it. A little handy indicator of how much water is in it. Uh, very nice for handling the uh, the black water. All right, so our A-Liner LXE, that is the one, is the size of the classic, uh, except that it has the toilet. I know it has the hard dormers. We really like the hard dormers. So this is eight feet tall approximately at the peak when you're standing inside. I'm six foot four. I have about three inches of clearance when I get to the inside. We'll be inside soon. 
Uh, that's where the kitchen and the bathroom are. This is the side over here where the uh, head of the bed goes when you make it out into a bed or into a couch. So one thing they did with the A-Liner is in the newer models is they changed the bumper. The bumper used to be a uh, four by four hollow um, piece of metal all the way across. You could store firewood in it, put an end cap on it. That went away. They only kept the part where it attaches the spare tire. So what I did, I wanted some protection from the bumper side. This is actually a four by four pressure treated and painted, and then this is just a stabilizer straps, but it works and basically allows, if someone were to rear end us, at least it gives us some, some protection. All right, so inside on the kitchen here, one of the first things we did is we removed the microwave that was down here. Now we can still take the microwave with us if we want. It's a very nice quality, but it's not a, a large, super large microwave. You can plug it into the outside outlets if you want but it gave us a huge amount of room for a pantry. Bought the little wire uh, rack right there, so you have like a double storage on two heights. And in the back, you can't see it, but there is an extra outlet that's free, and we put a nightlight back there. Since storage is king, I saw this on, we built a little wood rack that goes over the air conditioner. Really like that for storage. Moving up here, mirror. That's very handy. Just glues right on, stayed on permanently. Now, these are command hooks. These are the 15 pound ones. They pop right off for when you're stowing it, put it right back on, a couple around, and we have some on the other side as well, which I'll show you. This, the Streamlight brand camping lantern. Very nice. LED three D-cell batteries, different modes, bright, medium, low, if you hold it, you get into the red mode. Can't really come off as red. There'll be SOS flashing after that. But we really enjoy that because the LED lights are very bright, as you can see. But you don't always need that much light. So it's really nice to have just the lower lights in the camping room. Okay, so we noticed that our A-Liner comes with light darkening shades on the two main sides. Turns out the kitchen one is more translucent. So we have this tension rod. It's basically one that you get for this curtain rod. And we're able to put the towels up there as a darkening shade at night. That works out very nicely. More example of using the command hooks to hang things and we've got some hooks around here now in terms of these tension rods I have four of them all together so one is here and you can use it as a kitchen I saw my wife there briefly and okay. there's one on the top now the one on the top I said I'm tall I can reach up there you don't have to put it that high but if you want, you end up being able to use it to hang things. Like so we have a lantern hanging right here on the center as well. That green light, that's what's great about the Streamlight brand is it'll go yellow when you need to change the battery. Uh, and it's waterproof. It's really, really well built. We lasts a long time, too. Uh, let's see, another example of command hooks right there. Just those two main hooks on the wall trash this is the toilet cover you can sit on this use it as a prep area when it comes time to use it, it just lifts up love the Thetford cassette toilet and like I said it goes into the black tank the little cassette uh, tank that you pull outside to clean it out all right so one thing here quick thing on the fridge the door was opening up on this side uh, if you're in the kitchen, that didn't make sense. If you're in a classic A-liner, it makes perfect sense. But for the LXE setup, it was inconvenient. So, Dometic makes a hinge kit so you can reverse the direction that your door opens up. Also, the little sensor down here, it's, um, brand name, Taylor. So keep that inside. 
we have a temperature on the outside, temperature on the inside of the refrigerator. All right, so this is a configuration during the daytime. You have your bench seat back there. You have the two little seats. Great little table, folds up. At nighttime, it goes across this gap right here. So when you pull this bench out here and the bed comes out and folds flat, this comes across here. They have this pillow, this pillow. They have a third pillow that they give you and that fills the gap in. So now the bed basically goes all the way out. It's like a 76 by 76 inch bed. This is a ground um, self-inflating pad for if you're a, a, a tent camper. One thing we notice if we, we love camping in the fall, the winter and the spring when it's very cold. So this keeps the cold coming in from the side walls. Put one on both sides. There's plenty of room behind the bench seat there for all of our bedding. Essentially, we've got blankets, pillows, everything we need during the day stows away and just kind of rolls out when we are ready to make the bed. I will not be able to show that to you in this video, but basically very, very nice. The whole thing turns into a bed. The table, I did type up. So we're not, this is like the, probably the only video we'll ever make, but these professional bloggers who have made videos for the A-Liner and for the RV Lifestyle, just a big shout out to them. These are the ones, the five that we've learned the most from. There's a lot of them out there. And we really, really appreciate the ones who do this professionally for a living. Slim Potato Head, the first one that we ever saw Former airliner owner, now he has a fiberglass little pull behind. Lots of tips. He bought an older airliner, repairs, enhancements. He's become an extremely good uh, video maker for travel videos as well. Very interesting. Going nowhere fast. Uh, even when Slim Potato Head was doing a repair or swap out of his electrical system, he recommended going to his video on how he does it. Very, very methodical, a lot of tips, but step by step on how he does things. Also, if you own dogs, at the time he had two German Shepherds, I think he only has one now, and he has a whole video on how he trains his dogs. I don't even have dogs, but I felt it was fascinating, very, very informative. RV Lifestyle, Mike and Jen, and their dog Bo. General tips and reviews. They've gone from B to B plus, and now they're in a leisure van and they will try different products and just great, uh, great hints, very entertaining. Loloho, Long Long Honeymoon, a great couple. They're in an Airstream, but they do a lot of uh, the fire bowl that, we, uh, that I showed you out there. They have a whole video on that. They try different products, great set of videos to watch. Will Prouse, okay, if you're gonna do solar, now I've, I'm at the beginning stage of solar, so I'm not qualified to tell you anything about it. But Will Prouse can tell you everything about RV solar. He's not sponsored by anybody. He takes these high-end batteries. It can be a Battleborn battery. It can be whatever, but the lithium ion and AGM. And he tears them open. He actually cuts them open and shows you electronically how the components are made, how they're wired together, how they're built. Fascinating. Plus, he has a fascinating life story, this young man, from where he went to where he is now. So, highly recommend that. All right, so it looks like a little bit of a mess right now, but space is everything. So, this little stand we built, a uh, little office organizer, cubbies. We have an Apple TV. I have a, here it is, Verizon uh, hotspot puck. So, we can pull in Amazon Prime videos through our TV. Uh, very, very convenient for watching at night. And we have iPhones, and in a pinch, you can also do a Wi-Fi hotspot off your phone that Apple TV can pick up. All right, thermostat up upgrade. That hole right there, the original mechanical Emerson thermostat was there. When the bed's made, it can't sense the temperature. You can't change it because it's a little slider. Went in and there's a Lux Pro, just a basic on-off thermostat. Uh, there's enough wire under here 
when you lift up this lid and go inside, you can unclip the wires, you can reposition it, and swap it out. That is so much more, it makes the, uh, the furnace behave so much better. Now I've got this one idiosyncrasy, I've got this, the pink hard foam. So what happens is this thermostat, there's probably a better place to mount it, but for us, uh, it works out very good right there. It's sensing against the cold wall from the outside. So we like winter camping. It can be down to the twenties. So everything's relative. You can, if it's, uh, let's say 60 degrees, 58 degrees in through the, uh, the temp temperature gauge right there, this might record that it thinks it's, uh, you know, 52 degrees. So, but if you want to make it warmer by one or two degrees, you just go, okay, you think you're 52 degrees. Well, I want it to be 53, 54. Just push the button right there. It instantly goes on. It'll warm up. It'll shut it off. So much better than the original thermostat right there. Uh, once again, I'm not the person to tell you how to do this. I'm lucky I actually managed to get it to work. But one of these sensors that senses the battery uh, charge, and then if you're running in an offline mode, power of the campsite here went out last night, and so you're able to see what the draw is on the 12 volt system and what the battery charge is for the uh, main battery of your camper. So this was a cheap one off of eBay. There's uh, several people who have videos on how to install them. All right, so I popped the top here just to quick uh, shout out the reason why we can camp all year long. This is the hot water lines, hot and cold water lines. There's an 11 gallon tank back here and the hot water tank that's behind all of this. It goes by the hot water tank, goes behind the refrigerator, goes by the propane stove, goes to the sink. I have used the remote temperature sensor when it's in the low 20s outside and it doesn't freeze. It keeps it warm to the side of what's inside the cabin. So very, very good for us for cold weather camping. Uh, the Thetford cassette toilet, the water tank for that is basically uh, right by the seat where your legs go. And when I measure that water, it stays the temperature of the cabin inside the A-liner. So once again, we've had no problem with the Thetford cassette toilet uh, freezing either. But do your own research, make your own decisions. But for us, uh, this has been very, very good from an all weather camping perspective. Okay, so storage is king. Uh, our liner came with a very nice pull out drawer. However, I removed the drawer, I removed the slides. Uh, and I'll show you where I cut out this right here. This is an Alpacool cooler, slim potato head. It has a great review on it. We wanted an extra refrigerator. It's 12 volt or 110. Currently we're plugged into the 110. 12 volt will plug into the 12 volt outlet right there if you want. And then that right there is our uh, 300 watt inverter generator. So if we want to plug that into the 12 volt system and do our iPhone charger cords plugged into that, we can plug our TV into it. It works really great. I'm going to pull out the Apple cooler now and show it to you. All right, so what I came up with is I cut it off and I reconfigured this so I could reattach it while we're traveling. This now slides out. And very nice storage. This is the C20, I believe. But now you can use all the space at that time. Slide back in. And no must, no fuss. And the little bar goes back so it stays in place while you are traveling. Okay, so you can't see it, but there's a 110 outlet tucked away back behind the seat. Now I got some stuff stacked here. How do you access it? How do you access it at night when you have the bed made? Well, you run an extension cord out here and we have a little extra outlet attached to it. And this way you can move the outlet once the bed's made and you have access to power because you really can't get enough power. Now we're on 110 now. I said the power went out in the campground last night and we were running just on our battery and that worked fine. But getting access to that outlet was problematic, just like getting access to this thermostat was a problem. And that was how we came up with a way to solve that problem. 
So one of the things I'll close with is the fact that our battery, our RV came with a Group 24 battery. We've upgraded to a Group 31. Uh, it has 110 uh, amp hour life. This particular one is an AGM. This is, happens to be a switch here. I'm playing around with dual batteries right now, and that's a, 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 mil a marine grade switch. They're red, turn it to one, battery two, turn them both off. So you can disconnect it uh, if you want from you know, the rest of the system when you're parked for any period of time. So like I said, I can't really tell you all about it other than the fact that having a larger battery is nice. Oh, dual propane tanks. So we've got two propane tanks right here. Um, they, one thing you recommend is the switch. You can do to the left tank, turn both tanks, or just to the right tank. Originally we had them on both. Found out that you want to always have it on just one tank. We ran out of propane in the middle of the night once. So then you just came out, flip it over, bring it to the other tank. If you leave it in the middle, what's gonna happen is it's gonna run down and when you're out of gas, you're out of propane. I didn't mention, I caulked with clear silicone caulk around the inside perimeter of the wood floor and around the sink. That way, if there's any water spills, water's not gonna be dripping anywhere. So I think that's about it. So thank you very much. Uh, really appreciate all the people that have helped us. And we hope that those of you who are looking for A-liners or have owned an A-liner, this can have been, you know, hopefully it was of use to you. All right, thank you very much. Happy camping.